Hello kids, let's learn about subtraction. Subtraction. Meet Stacy. She is holding three shiny apples. <laughs> Hello Stacy. Along comes her friend Ben, and Stacy decides to give him one apple. Now, how many apples does Stacy have left? One, two. She has two apples left. So when we take one away from three, we are left with two. This is called subtraction. Subtraction is when we take away or remove one number from another to find out how many are left. Interesting. Look at this pretty flower. Five busy bees are buzzing around and they all land on the flower. Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five. Oh no! After a while, two of the bees decide to fly away. Now, how many bees are left on the flower? Let's count again. One, two, and three. That's right! There are three bees still enjoying the flower. When two bees fly away from five, we are left with three. That's subtraction in action. Subtraction helps us figure out how many remain after something is taken away. Let's look at this tall mango tree. It has four yummy mangoes hanging in its branches. Yummy mangoes. Uh-oh, suddenly, Three of the mangoes fall to the ground. Can you guess how many are still on the tree? Let's count together. One. One. That's right. Only one mango is left on the tree. When three mangoes fall off from four, we are left with just one. That's how subtraction works. Taking away and finding what's left. We use a symbol that looks like a small dash called the minus sign to show subtraction. The answer we get when we subtract one number from another is called the difference. Difference. Some other words we use in subtraction are subtract, minus, take away, less and left. Let's do subtraction using simple objects at home. Can you tell me what is 5 minus 3? Let's do subtraction using some cubes. Let's start with 5 cubes. Let's remove 3 cubes from 5. How many cubes are left? We are left with 2 cubes. When we take 3 away from 5, we get 2. When we do subtraction, we start with the bigger number and take away the smaller number to find out the difference. This method is called the takeaway method. Take away method. This helps us find out what is left. Since subtraction is the process of taking away or removing objects. Next, can you tell me what is 6 minus 2? Let's practice the takeaway method. Let's use some delicious cherries this time. How many cherries should we start with? Six. Six, you're correct. Now, let's take two away from them. How many cherries are left now? Four. Four. When we take two away from six, we get four. Now, Let's do subtraction using takeaway method with our fingers. Let's find out what is 6 minus 2. In 6 and 2, which is the bigger number? 6. 6. You are right. Let's begin by holding up 6 fingers. Yes. To take 2 away from 6, let's fold down 2 fingers. 1, 2. So, how many fingers are left? 1, 2, 3, Four. We are left with four fingers. That means six minus two equals four. Here again, we are using the taking away method to do subtraction. Isn't that easy? Let's do the same takeaway method using our fingers. Let's take six away from nine this time. 
So, which number should we begin with? 9. 9. You are correct. 9 is the bigger number. Let's hold up 9 fingers. To take 6 away from 9, let's fold down 6 fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. How many fingers are we left with? 1, 2, 3. We are now left with 3 fingers. So, when we take 6 away from 9, we get 3. So easy, isn't it? Let's do subtraction in another fun and easy way. This is called crossing out method. Crossing out? Let's begin with 6 minus 3. In the number 6 and 3, which one is bigger? 6. That's right. Now, let's draw 6 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We need to take 3 away from these 6 lines. So, let's cross out 3 lines, one by one. 1, 2, 3. Crossed out. Now, how many lines are left? 3. 3. So, when we take 3 away from 6, we are left with 3. That means 6 minus 3 equals 3. Can you tell me what is 4 minus 4? Let's draw 4 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4. We need to take 4 lines away. Let's cross them out one by one. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, how many lines are left? Exactly! There are 0 lines left. So when we take 4 away from 4, we get 0. This means 4 minus 4 equals 0. Can you tell me what is 9 minus 5? In 9 and 5, which is bigger? 9. 9. That's right. Let's draw 9 circles this time. That's right. 9 circles. Let's draw 9 circles together. Now, we need to take away 5 circles. Let's cross out 5 circles one by one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All crossed out. Now, how many circles are left? 4. This is another way to do the takeaway method, where we remove or cross out some of what we drew to see what is left. It is a quick way to do subtraction when we don't have the real objects in front of us. <laughs> Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.